Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Secret Nana. We just got the Swords Orb and the Spears Orb from the Pandoran King in exchange for saving his town or his country or whatever it is. And so we're gonna get on out of here. Now, I just ate two chicken sandwiches and I am stuffed to the gills. And you just missed a really good burp, I'm telling you. It was a nice big one. Nice and loud and rumbly. Or rumbly. The. <coughs> Excuse me. So, out we go. Back to... I don't know. The game says go to the Water Palace, but I'm pretty sure your next mission is actually... Oh, you know what? I know why it tells you to go to the Water Palace. Well, we'll find that out later. What will it be? This is that minor upgrade that I was talking about. It's not really worth it, but I'm going to get it anyway because I got money. Because I'm rich. So... It's the Cobra Brace. It replaces the Power Wrist for a defensive increase from 4 to 6. It's nothing monumental, but, you know, every little bit helps, you know, so... Might as well. So, here we go. I'll try to do this as quickly as I can, but I... Uh, still, it's been a while since I've played this. A whole year and three months. That's a real long time. I mean, that is a long time to some people. That's not a long time to me. Not anymore. Surprised how much I'm really getting into this game, though. I just wanted to get my paycheck, and it's like all I thought about while I was out there was this game and how it's like I was still in the game, sort of still in the world of it. <coughs> Excuse me, still in the world of it, even as I was going out there doing that stuff. So I guess that's kind of cool. That happens sometimes. I actually had a place I used to go to when we lived in Georgia. It was called Mana Land. At least that's what I call it, because it looks just like this world. Or it looks kind of like the way I imagined this world would look. It was just beautiful. It was a little park down the street. If you go to MapQuest or Google Earth or whatever and look up 90 Atlanta Avenue, Commerce, Georgia, 30565, I think it was. Uh, that's a little ways up the road. And then you go, like, southwest down the road just a little ways, and the park is there. I don't know how, if you'd be able to see it or not, but, hmm. And it's a really small park, too. It's not like some big park, like a golf course or something. If anything, there's places around here that would probably make better mana lands than that did. But, you know, places here in Wisconsin, I mean, but <coughs> sometimes I miss those old Georgia trees, let me tell you. And I miss, uh, I miss my friends there, too. I used to have a really good group of friends. I still have friends now, you know, I got Josh and I got my sister and everything. It's just, I don't know if anything could ever compete with, you know, the way it was when I would come home from work and we'd all go out and make music videos and make asses of ourselves in front of the video camera. And we actually used to take instruments and pretend like we were a band playing a song and we'd just play the song and pretend like we were playing it like my hero. And when they let me sit on the drums, I just went crazy banging my head around. I, was, I should like show some of those videos to you. That's like really funny. I've always meant to like upload those to YouTube. I just gotta find a way to copy VCR tapes to uh, somehow get them on the computer without just pointing the camera at the TV because that's just boring. <coughs> it would look a lot better and a lot cleaner if I could just transfer them directly. And I know there's a way to do that. I actually found out. All I gotta do is just go to Best Buy and get the right thing. It's all a matter of timing. So we're almost there, and I've been sitting here talking about crap, so... <laughs> I guess I could have taken cannon travel, probably would have saved a little bit. But I thought I'd build some weapon levels here, that's why I got bow and javelin equipped. Just kind of playing around with some stuff here. Anything to be unpredictable or unusual or something. So let's go ahead and get our weapons forged. Sword and spear, get them up to level 3, baby. Oh, uh, let's see. Sword, yeah. Alright, and spear. Notice those cost at 400. They're starting to get a little expensive. Next upgrade after that's going to be 800. So that's all. Let us continue. So what's going on here, anyway? big old hole in the ground down here. The 
seeds are below. Next thing I'll hit the underground palace. I'll handle the palace. You check this out. So they're going after the second seed now. Could that mean that they got the first one? Maybe that's why they wanted me to go to the water palace to find out that it got stolen? Well, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's amazing they did all that just in the time I was in Pandora. Now you can pick up this whip's orb here and you can actually use the magic rope to teleport out and go forge it before you fight this boss. But I'm not going to do that crap. You realize we can't let you leave. Welcome! We, the Scorpion Army, will rule the world! Check it out! Shut up! We took the water seed to complete our super deluxe robot! We call it Kilroy! Hubba hubba! Do it! I sir! What is it, like Domo Arigato Mr. Roboto or something? <coughs> so we'll have to find out. Go get him now! See ya! Farewell! Goodbye, children! Uh oh! What's wrong? Too much energy! It's out of control! No! Remove the seed! Use the auxiliary power! Oh, great. Things out of control, and now we're fighting it? That's just great. So charged weapon attacks are your best bet against this thing, but you gotta watch your aim, too, and you gotta watch out when he starts doing that. He can inflict the Moogle status, which can be mildly annoying. Maybe even a little more than mildly. Crap, now I'm Moogle. What is that? Hmm. Just keep at it, you gotta be persistent and stay alive, too. Man, why is this guy giving so much trouble to me? Ugh. Holy crap! Am I just under-leveled or something? Because that guy's doing a lot of damage. It's a good thing I got that little bitty upgrade, huh? Yeah, you'll be getting some big ones once you get to the upper land, but that's a while away. standing right inside that. Okay, I guess I got out of it. I'm not gonna bother with charged attacks, because you're taking too big of a risk there to just wind up getting moogled or something when you go to try to hit him. Usually this guy does not give me this much trouble, I'm telling you. I mean, we're not even halfway there yet, because when he gets halfway down, his feet disappear and he starts riding on a wheel on a unicycle of sorts. <coughs> yeah. Oh man, we're gonna need another cure spell here. As soon as she gets unmoogled. Alright. I mean, I have never seen this take this long before. You know, you can use magic on it if you want, but it's not... <clears throat> it doesn't really have a weakness. So... And I haven't built my spells up enough for that to be worth it anyway, so... Well, as far as that goes, I don't think I've even refilled my MP since I beat that boss. I didn't stay in N or anything. So I wouldn't be able to use magic even if I could. Even if I had my levels built up. Darn it. Oh, okay, he's in the wheel form now, thank god. We're getting somewhere. I think he's actually a little easier now. Usually I just try to aim for the wheel, but it seems like you can hit him pretty much anywhere. It just seems to work better to go for the wheel because then... Oh my god, Sprite died! Ugh! Are you kidding me? Gotta be the most insane fight I've ever had with this thing. This is like one of the easiest bosses. And I'm just getting my ass handed to me by him. I'm thinking probably after this video I might have to do a little weapon grinding and spell grinding and just get back to get back to form. Because we actually, the next boss after this one, is another one of those extremely hard bosses. He has some attacks that can do upwards of 200 damage to your entire party if you're not careful. And, I mean, that right now would just be an instant kill for all of us. I don't know if it's 200 the entire party. And he has this Acid Storm attack, and I, I, know, I know if he does that to one character, it's like 500 damage. Or maybe that's his Cure spell that heals him for 500, and I'm just getting confused. I don't remember. But again, I get too far ahead of myself here. There we go! I knew we'd take care of this guy eventually. 9 minutes, 35 seconds. So this is gonna have to be the end of the video. Well, two videos in a row where 5 minutes were spent on a boss. Wow. That's just crazy. Javelin's orb, alright. First orb for the javelin. Let's give him a hand. Recovered mana seed. 
misspelled recover. Oh well. Always notice that. <laughs> yep. You're safe. Somehow you seem older. Gemma took off with some Pandoran soldiers. Hmm. Wonder where they're going. Well, let's go get those orbs, um, done, whatever, forged. Which one's ready? We got a Whip's Orb that we picked up and a Javelin's Orb, so... That puts all of our weapons at level 2. Was I wrong about the Whip earlier? I thought the Whip went to level 3 before most anything else. Maybe that's like one of the first orbs you get in the upper land or something. I don't know. Okay, well, this is it. 1043. I gotta go, guys. So, I'll see you next time on Let's Play Secret of Mana. Thank you for watching!